Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the Ward Leonard speed control. So we already discussed about this. The Ward Leonard speed control is a special machine, special method. That means it will be control the speed above as well as below. We have so many methods. Some of the methods is also these are spe specially designed for above speed control. Some of the machines specially designed for below speed control. But both above and below speed control is done by the Ward Leonard speed control. This is the importance of the Ward Leonard speed control. And to control the below speed, we are using the armature voltage control method. So for this, it will be accessed like this. And in the case of second thing, the second case, just look at here when the speed control required above rated value for example we require above rated value the flux control is used what we are using flux control how by varying the field regulator of motor the flux is controlled so we have the look at here just look at the diagram this is the field regulator by varying this field regulator so by varying the field regulator of the motor that means look at here the flux control is below rated value that means just look at here flux value decreases below rated value the speed can be controlled above rated value that means speed will be increases above rated value right under this machine behaves as constant power and variable torque device. So look at here, this is generally above rated value condition. That means it is a rated speed. If the speed is more than this rated value, the this will be the torque that will be constant and this will be the power. Power will be decreases. Torque will be constant power will be like this this is the power comma torque power comma torque okay flux will be decreases and uh, speed will be increases right and what about torque torque will be decreases to maintain the torque will be decreased generally here we have a ratio that is speed is inversely proportional to the torque speed is inversely proportional to the torque that means what we are getting the speed and torque will give the constant speed and torque will give the constant the multiplication the speed and torque is will become power power is the constant power power become the constant power that means above rated value control the torque is constant and power is decreases and when speed and power inversely proportional here here inversely proportional constant power and variable torque device which sorry is the reverse thing this is the power is constant and torque is variable so power is constant torque is variable right so up to rated value power will be power will be varies and whenever it reaches to rated the power will constant up to this torque will be constant and below this torque value will be rated value okay right and this is the diagram this is the graph we can understand the characteristics we can understand the characteristics next here so by using this method we are doing both below rated value and above rated value so for example we have 1000 rpm rated speed 1000 rpm rated speed by armature voltage control we can control like this 1 is to 10 that means it is used for below rated value that means we can use 1 is to 10 ratio that means 
100 rpm to 100 rpm to we can control the 1000 rpm 100 rpm to 1000 rpm what about the field control in case of field control the speed will be 1 is to 4 that means it will be like this 1000 rpm to 4000 rpm control is done so by field control the speed will be four times increases and the armature control speed will be one by time decreases that's why it is below rated condition that's why it is the above rated condition clear so if you are using this both methods the speed control is done 100 rpm to 4000 rpm the rated speed is so if you take the rated speed is 1000 rpm the speed can be varied from 100 rpm to 4000 rpm like this so this wide range of speed control is done this is generally wide range of speed control is possible by this method okay right so that's why what leonard speed control method is the very important thing the reason is it will be controlled for both below rated and above rated values next advantages let's look at the advantages by using this method wide range of speed control is in both the directions so look at this statement it is 100 rpm to 4000 rpm so wide range of speed control is possible and second high efficiency efficiency is high good efficiency and efficiency is high very very high next third important point it is simplicity that means no complicated no complicated devices are available devices are available so that's why it is very simple device no problem with this device next disadvantages so disadvantage so we have so much device disadvantages that is it is high initial cost initial cost is more the reason is because two more machines of equal rating is required so just look at here this is the big disadvantage of this method look at the diagram so we are controlling the speed of this motor speed of this motor but to control the speed we are using a generator again and to maintain this generator we are using again induction motor so it is to extra machines to extra motors are required machines are required so this is the very big disadvantage very big disadvantage that's why the speed control has some some important thing some important parameter okay this is only the big disadvantages for this method right next so we can give some important parameters some important relation by this method that is we you know that we already discussed about these points but we are extending how the speed and torque will be changes by varying the flux we have to discuss here here the speed is there and at this point we have the rated speed is available and it is for below rated speed rated below and it is for above rated above rated speed is available and this is the point and this is the point we should take the two important parameters for this just look at here what is the power how the power will be varied generally power is starting from zero up to rated speed it will reach the peak point it will reach the peak point so if it is more than rated speed the power will be increases like this and what about the torque just look at the torque torque is also it will be reaches this value 
and torque will be decreases like this torque will follow like this so here the thing is generally if you are to if you are taking all per all per unit values what are the changes are required generally this is related to torque which things are affected on torque means generally so below rated so for the below rated the torque is affected on armature current as well as field current as well as the flux these all are affected on the torque what about this here the power so look at the power if you look at the power power has below rated value power will be affected and voltage will be affected as well as back emf will be affected and what about this above rated value in the above rated value power voltage back emf and the armature current all the points are affected what about this here here the armature current affected and the field current affected and the flux all are will be affected in this case in this case okay so not armature current here none just look at here armature current shifted up and remaining all are controlled like this controlled like this so this is about ward leonard control speed control method okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you